movie, we are going to prepare images for placement in InDesign. So I have downloaded two images that are two different sizes from um, doing a Google image search for ice cream. So here's my first one and here's my second one. Let's take a look at my first one. I'm going to go up to image, image size. And in this dialog box, on the top, you're going to see it shows you what the size is in pixels, okay? And then if you come down here, document size, this is really where we want to be concerned about. So in this area here, I can see that the resolution is 72 ppi, okay? And we know that for our documents in InDesign, we want to have at least minimum of 200 to 300 ppi. Ideally, 300 ppi is the measurement that we want to aim for. And um, I noticed that if you bring in an image that has a low resolution, but it has a pretty big size image, it's 21 by 29, this gives us a little bit of, of room to kind of wiggle, okay, to kind of, to kind of see if we can move the pixels around um, so we can have a small enough image at a high enough resolution. So in order to do that, I'm going to deselect resample down here. Resample means that we're either going to add pixels or take away pixels, and we're not going to do any of that. We're just rearranging. So when I deselect this, notice that all three of these fields are now locked together. And I'm simply going to put 300 in this field. And notice how my width and my height changes to five by seven. So this tells me that I can safely place this image no larger than five by seven at 300 ppi. So that's actually pretty good. That's exactly what I want to do. So I'm going to click OK. Now in comparison, let's look at this other image that we have here. And I'm going to do the same thing. Go up to image, image size. Okay. And here we have my dialog box again. And I want you to notice right off the bat, there's a huge difference. First of all, look at this pixel dimension. It's only like half a K or half a thousand, half a K. Okay, but then document size down here, um, we come down and we notice that it's six by four and the resolution 72. So that's pretty darn small. So we're going to start with my, you know, I want to go up to 300 PPI and see what happens. And if I bring it up to 300 ppi, I notice that my height and my width go to about one and a half by a little over one inch. So basically, I can use this image safely about the size of a postage stamp. Now on, on the low end of my resolution, if I go 200 ppi, even there, it's like two by one. So we're still talking approximately postage stamp, and we don't want to do that. So this is telling me that this image is not any good for me to use. So I'm going to close that one out. I'm not going to save it. And we'll go ahead and save this one properly now. I'm going to go to File, Save As. And I either want to save this document one of three ways. Number one is a Photoshop document. Okay. And my extension up here, if you can see, changes to PSD. Or I can save it as a Photoshop EPS. Okay. And you'll see that my extension changes up here to EPS. Or third, I want to save it as a um, as a TIFF, which is actually the ideal one that you want to save as. So I would save as a TIFF first, EPS, and then Photoshop are about the same. These are formats that do not lose pixel information. JPEGs, GIFs, or PINGs are what they call lossy formats, and you do not want to use those in a print document ever. If you want to save as a TIFF, a TIFF, I'm going to show you this as a good uh, way to say something because when I click save and I'm going to replace one that I already have hanging around, I want you to notice that here, it, even though it's kind of grayed out, see where it says save transparency? So if you had transparency in this image, for instance, if the background was out, I would click save transparency and then click OK and then that would actually save the transparency for this image. Um, and once I click OK, I only have one more thing to change, and that's image mode. I want to make sure that it's changed to CMYK, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. And if you look over here now at the file name, ice cream, TIFF, there's CMYK. You can see that it's properly saved there also. And that's all. So you want to make sure that your resolution is correct that you're saving it correctly, and that you have the correct color mode under image mode selected, which would be CMYK for a print document. And that is that.